Hey TV fans, today let's talk about a classic TV series from 1954 that many people loved. Remember that really nice dog? Yeah, that one. It starred with a famous actor from old Hollywood and lots of families loved watching it. Who was your favorite old Hollywood actor in this show? But wait, there's more. As we learn about what happened behind the scenes, get ready for lots of feelings. There are funny stories, surprising secrets, and moments that make you feel sad this show had everything. So keep watching because we've got some cool facts to share. When did you first start watching this old show? Tell us about the first time you saw an episode. We'd love to hear about that happy memory in the comments. And here's something exciting. Stick around for some surprising, funny, and sad facts. You'll definitely want to hear them. What's your favorite memory or personal experience with this old TV show? Let us know in the comments. Your stories help us remember the past, so please share. Let's celebrate the magic of this old show together. And remember, we're here for the funny, surprising, and sad moments. Keep watching and stay tuned for more interesting information. Share your thoughts and memories. Reflecting on the classic TV series Lassie, it's clear that the show holds a special place in many viewers' hearts. Across generations, its story resonated with audiences, presenting a seemingly simple tale that offered more upon deeper examination. The series, which aired in 1954, focused on the bond between a young boy and his dog. While it seemed to show idyllic farm life with heartwarming adventures, it also subtly depicted life's realities and the choices people make. Viewers were drawn into the world of Timmy and the dog, who had special abilities like understanding English, Morse code, and even life-saving skills like CPR. For many viewers who didn't live on a farm or experience similar situations, it offered a glimpse into a lifestyle they could only imagine. The success of the show can be credited to its ability to capture audiences' imagination by showcasing a life filled with elements often absent from their own experiences like chores, close family dynamics, and the companionship of a loyal pet. Behind the scenes, the portrayal of the character involved a rotation of several trained animals, which adds an interesting layer to how people perceive the character. Moreover, it's worth noting that despite being portrayed as female in the series, the dog was actually male, adding an interesting aspect to the character's gender portrayal. Overall, Lassie remains a timeless classic fondly remembered by audiences of all ages, showcasing themes of loyalty, companionship, and the appeal of a simpler life. In the 1954 TV series Lassie, a character named Timmy was named after the producer Benita Granville's mother, Timmy. The story goes that when they were choosing who would play Lassie's young master, they let the dog choose. Lassie walked over to a boy named Tommy and affectionately nuzzled him, securing him the role. Maureen Robinson, who played Timmy's mother in the series, is most famous for her role in Lost in Space. This information was in the USA, the only show that consistently replaced Lassie on TV was the annual CBS airing of The Wizard of Oz on Sunday evenings from 1959 to 1967. During the making of The Five Thousand Fingers of Dr. T in 1953, he met dog trainer Frank Weatherwax. Frank's brother Rudd purchased the rights for the upcoming TV series Lassie from MGM. He auditioned child actors, including Tommy, who eventually landed the role of Jeff after spending a week at the Weatherwax Ranch with three collies. Tommy Reddig, wanting to leave the series after three seasons, was 15 and desired to pursue other roles. Simultaneously, Jan Clayton aimed to return to musical theater. Timmy joined the cast to facilitate a gradual transition. However, the passing of George Cleveland accelerated the change to a new cast, in the early days of the Lassie TV series, she played Tommy Reddick's mom, Ellen Miller, bringing warmth and charm to the screen. The show became well known for its family-friendly themes and the lovable dog as the main character. The U.S. Postal Service even issued a special stamp in 29 to honor the show, alongside other popular classics like The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet and I Love Lucy. Behind the scenes, there were some problems. Cloris Leachman, a key cast member, didn't get along with the production team, leading to her leaving the show. John Shippard also left, causing a shakeup in the cast. June Lockhart and Hugh Riley came in to take their places, smoothly fitting into their roles by the end of the season. Even with these changes, the heartwarming stories of love, loyalty, and adventure continued to capture viewers' hearts for years. Lassie remains a timeless classic in TV history, loved by generations of viewers worldwide. The TV series Lassie, which aired in 1954, is well known for a few key reasons. 
Firstly, the catchy whistle theme that played at the beginning and end of each episode was introduced in season five. Before that, the first four seasons had a more traditional orchestral theme. One of the show's most famous stars was June Lockhart. She played Ruth Martin on Lassie and also acted as Maureen Robinson on Lost in Space. Lassie held a special place in TV history because it was one of the earliest long-running shows to keep its time slot and day of the week consistent throughout its primetime run on a S television network. Later on, it became a syndicated program for the last three years of its broadcast. All these factors together made the show very popular and important in television history. In the TV series from 1954, the main character, Akali, was portrayed by male dogs because they shed less and looked more impressive on screen due to their larger size. The mother figure in the show was played by an actor who also acted as the grown-up version of Elizabeth Taylor's character from Lassie Come Home in The Son of Lassie. Tommy, who had previously acted in Annie Get Your Gun alongside Mary Martin, was offered roles in plays such as Peter Pan and The Member of the Wedding. However, he got the part in the show after Brandon DeWilder turned it down. Tommy's mother played a crucial role in guiding his career towards acting in movies. The TV show focused on the Miller family, led by Jeff, his mom Ellen, and Gramps. Tommy Reddick played Jeff initially, but he was replaced by Timmy and his adoptive parents, the Martins, because Reddick got too old for the role. Lassie, played by Pal Jr., was a great actor, and Rudd Weatherwax's excellent training kept the show popular. Timmy, played by John Provost, left after seven seasons, and the whole human cast was let go, possibly due to Provost or the new star Robert Bray asking for more money. Bray left after four seasons, officially citing fatigue, but it was later revealed that he struggled with alcoholism, leading to his retirement from acting. The success of Lassie owes a lot to Pal Jr. and Weatherwax's important contributions to the series. The collie who played Lassie the longest was named Baby. He was the grandson of Pal, the original Lassie. Baby played the role for six years until he suddenly died at the age of eight. He is the only one not to live to the age of 17. His one-shot return to the series as Ben Adams after his recurring role as Cully Wilson was the final performance for comedy legend Andy Clyde. She suffered a miscarriage at four months pregnant during the filming of Lassie. Baby's unexpected departure from the series left a void that was deeply felt by the cast and crew. Despite the challenges, they continued to honor his memory, integrating his story into the fabric of the show. Baby brought joy and inspiration to countless viewers, leaving a lasting impression on fans worldwide. His dedication and talent will always be remembered fondly in television history. This special Kali's role in the show will forever be cherished, ensuring that his spirit lives on in the hearts of those who knew and loved him.